Yeah. Briefly describe the character you play in the film. I play Ray Ray McGrath Bay, who's a hardworking young man who uh, steps up to be in, in a man in the movie. Um, he takes care of his little brother by hiding him around the campus and puts everything on the line while doing so. Thaddeus, can you answer that? Yeah, I play Faymon McElrath Bay, the younger brother of Ray McElrath Bay. And I'm just going through a lot during this time period. And, and my mom's in rehab and my dad left a little bit after I was born. So because there's no one to take care of me, I could be placed in foster care. So my brother takes care of me. And Hunter? Yeah, I play Daniel Morelli, uh, Ray's roommate, teammate, and best friend, the first person that Ray meets at Clemson, and also the first person that he confides in about a situation with his little brother. Corinne? I play Casey Stone, an aspiring sports reporter who meets Ray and instantly becomes uh, attracted to him and wants to help him and him and his brother in their situation. Hey, thanks. Corinne, I'll start with you in this. In what ways are you like the character you play and in what ways are you different? I think I'm similar to Casey in the fact that she's very empathetic. When she hears Ray's story, she instantly wants to help him and I'm very much so like that. I also have a sister who's 12 and another sister who's 13. And so I really understood that sacrifice, I would do anything for them. And so when I'm hearing Ray's story, I can really empathize with that. And what was it, what, what am I not like, is what you said? Yes, how are you different? Oh. In a way that I'm different from Casey is that she is a diehard sports fan and I don't know anything about sports. So I really had to learn a lot about the vernacular and a lot about the game of football. Okay. <laughs> Jay, how about you? How are you similar to your character and how are you different? I feel like I'm similar to Ray in terms of work ethic. I feel like Ray um, and I, we got along. We, it's kind of an unspoken language when it came to hard work. You know, we didn't have to, he didn't have to tell me much. He just texted me the time and I was there. Uh, I feel like we're different. Uh, in small ways, you know, maybe I might clock out five minutes before him, but he pushes himself that extra mile when he's tired. And I just haven't figured that part out yet. So <laughs> that's the only way I would say I'm different. <laughs> Thaddeus, how about you? Um, I'm similar to Faymar because we both love football. Also, we have a strong relationship with our brother. I have no brother, but my dad is almost like a brother to me and he's, I've always been with him all the time. So just those things. And uh, we're different, just like Jay said, in very small ways, just that I don't have the same situation as him and I don't, I don't go through what he goes through. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks, Hunter. Yeah, I'm similar to Daniel in the sense that he's this Italian kid who's all about family and I am Italian and all about family. And uh, yeah, he, he embraces Ray like his, like his own brother and I'm an only child. So I, I, I try to uh, carry that energy when I meet new people into my life about just kind of embracing them as, as a brother. And I think Jay and I kind of had that in real life before we even started filming. So he may be able to attest to that. And uh, like everyone said in the small ways, um, Daniel has five older brothers. I'm an only child. I do have a lot of cousins, but I'm an only child, so. Thaddeus, what is it like being directed by Reginald Hudlin? Um, it was amazing. Like, he's like an uncle to me. Like, I talk to him all the time. My dad talks to him all the time. And he's just really cool. So, yeah. And Jay? Working with Reggie Hudlin was nothing short of amazing. Reggie is awesome. He made the environment comfortable for all of us. You know, this is a guy who's, who's playing music between setups just to keep you, your energy up after a long 12-hour day. And that's... You need that, you know? So, R R Reggie, thank you so much. Corinne? 
It was such a great experience working with Reggie. I actually knew him before the film. And so going into it, I felt super comfortable with him. And yeah, he's super fun playing music. And I feel like also could really tap into the heart of the film and giving us great direction on how we should be um, navigating our characters. And Hunter? Yeah, it was a real honor working with Reggie. Uh, obviously, given his past projects and all the amazing work he has put out and the fact that he is from East St. Louis and I am from St. Louis, we discovered that the first time we talked. And so that immediately kind of created this common ground and this comfortability going into the project. So for me, that was huge. Jay, I'm going to start with you on this one. What are the things about this film that you think that will most appeal to audiences? What I feel like will most appeal to audiences is the fun. This movie is so much fun. I feel like everyone had fun shooting it. TJ is so much fun. Corinne is so much fun. Hunter, everyone is so much fun. Um, the football looks amazing. So I really feel like people are going to gravitate towards that. And of course, the heartfelt message is what we need right now. So yeah, make sure you tune in. <laughs> Hunter. Yeah, I think people are going to gravitate gravi I think people are going to gravitate most towards the the football sequences. I mean, they look so good and it, 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 game scenes are real with the crowd. Um, we had an amazing uh, football coordinator. It was it, it was surreal to be a part of, and I think when people watch that, it's it's what everyone wants from a football movie. But at the same time, as Jay said, it's going to be about family. So I think there's going to be multiple things that people gravitate towards. But my main two would be the football and the family aspect. Yeah. And Corinne? Yeah, what I think people are going to gravitate towards in this film is the heartwarming aspect of it all. Um, it's been a really tough year and I think we all need a movie like this that is about family and love and connection. And I think, yes, you're going to have a tissue, you're going to need a tissue box or two to get through it, but in a good way, in a way that's going to make you feel happy and want to hug your loved ones a little bit tighter. Great. Right. And Thaddeus, your thoughts? Well, I think people are going to gravitate to brotherhood and football at the same time because the brotherhood shows a lot and football is a main part of it too. And just really about family. Mm -hmm. That is, I'm going to start with you on this one because you are the youngest. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what, no, what do you think you'll remember most about the experience of being in this film? Um, I remember most that, like, everyone made it, like, really amazing for me. Like, because this is my first ever movie, and just everyone made me feel comfortable. And I was just so happy and on set. I just made a whole bunch of brothers and a sister, and it was just amazing. Great. Hunter? Yeah, what I remember most, and I think what I'll carry with me, is, is kind of a, a unique one. I, I always think back on those van rides in the morning to work with all of us we, we we would all get in there we'd be just waking up and we'd all get in the zone together and we'd be listening to our music and and and, and we all knew we were going to make this incredible thing and for some reason those rides to set every day from the hotel just always stuck with me and Karen. yeah what i think i'm going to remember most about making this film is the fact that we got to actually film at Clemson. We only were there for maybe a week or two, but it was so special to see all these landmark uh, places that really defined Ray's story. And then also filming at an actual football game and watching these boys run down a hill and um, with 80,000 people cheering for them. And I just know how surreal that was for me and I'm sure for the boys. Yeah, what I think I'll remember and take with me is uh, that family aspect. Being with that crew, shooting safety was awesome during the day. But what the what it was reflecting into my personal life was you have to treat everyone like family, you know. And what Hunter spoke on, like those van rides, those drivers became my family. Those cameramen became my family. This cast became my family. So just remembering to to not be the star, but make everyone a star around you is what I think I'll carry with me, so.
Ray had overcome a lot of obstacles to be able to keep his brother with him at school. What ob obstacles did you have to overcome to finally get the film made? Well, you know, the obstacles that we had to overcome to get this film made uh, were many in, in that, you know, this, the, uh, I initially set up the film and got was lucky enough to get Ray's rights 14 years ago when the story happened back in 2006. Uh, I was at another studio at the time. We developed a screenplay and then just never got a green light on that movie. And uh, I, I knew I knew we had a great film in there and that and I told Ray he had to just be patient. And uh, I didn't think it would take 14 years, but uh, you know, we kept in touch over the years and, and I just said, Ray, I'm gonna get this movie made. So when Disney Plus announced uh, that, that their venture was happening and I'd made a lot of movies at Disney and I felt like this one would be perfect for the platform. And we brought it over and was one of the first things that they bought. And again, everything's about timing. You know, I think back in 2006, I brought it by and I tried to get it at Disney at the time and it was a different regime and it just didn't happen. So, um, you know, everything lined up now and that's what happens when, when movies end up getting made. They just, there's, there's an ease and there's, you know, you get these lucky breaks and start to put things together. You know, we continue to work on the script, you know, brought in another writer, brought in Reggie and, uh, and then the cast part of it. And, and uh, it was just amazing, big team effort. Reginald, um, what is it about the story that made you want to make this film? I love this story the minute I heard it. Uh, I was intrigued. Then I read the script and the script was so good. Every 20 pages, I had to get up and start pacing because I was just so emotionally engaged in it. And it was pretty clear uh, uh, 45 pages in, I was going back to work. <laughs> and then I saw, then I read the ending. I was like, oh my God. Uh, so I said, Let, let's go. So very uh, grateful that Mark uh, considered me. Very glad to get right to work. You know, wonderful meeting Ray, hearing his story firsthand uh, and having him with us on set as we made the movie. Great. Ray, how has it been for you finally seeing your story being made into a movie with actors playing you and Faye? Finally seeing my um, story being made into a movie has been exciting and uh, humbling for me. I'm blessed to have this experience. Uh, not many people get to go through this. Um, and I'm more than elated. I'm more than thankful for this experience and I hope to continue to inspire others uh, with my story and I can't there's not much more to say than that because it's it's still all happening so fast to me right now so I'm still taking it in so it's been wonderful. Great. Mark you've made a lot of sports themed movies um, how is this one similar to the other films that you've produced and how is it different? You know, I think the big difference in this story is the, that it's 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 it has diversity in it, you know, and and I think that's great because now these these fantastic stories uh, have a better chance to, to reaching the screen. And uh, and that that's that's amazing. You know, we put together, brought in an African-American writer, uh, brought in Reggie to direct, you know, the cast, the most of the crew, too, was was African-American down in Atlanta. And I think that just helped with making the movie feel authentic you know i think it, it's it's the big kind of call word that you hear now and uh i'm really proud to be you know a part of it i'm really proud of all the films i've made but 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 this one's special i've been with it a long time and to be on this road and and now have this story embraced and and we always knew that there'd be a a big audience out there and and, and uh i think the platform's going to be positioned great i mean there's so many subscribers now it's over 70 million that's really exciting. When, when we set up the, the movie, there were zero. <laughs> it hadn't even been launched. And in, in exactly a year, it's 70 million. That's staggering. So I think there's going to be a great audience and a, and a big audience for it. And really proud to, to bring it to, to, to people's homes. Great. Reginald, what qualities did you see in Jay and Thaddeus that made you cast them in this film? I was very nervous about the casting process because you know, um, for the role of Ray, you had to find an actor who was not only uh, a talented thespian, but also had to have uh, athletic ability as well. And to get uh, a great young actor to play uh, uh, 
to play, you know, the little brother was even more of a challenge because you got a, a young actor and either you have it or you don't. And I was so grateful that Jay Reeves and that is Mixon walked in because they nailed it. Not only were they, you know, wonderful actors, Jay had fantastic uh, athletic ability, but the, the thing you can't fake is the chemistry they had with each other. And they really put the time in, they hung out all the time on the weekends after hours. So, you know, that brotherly uh, warmth and connection that you see on screen, that was very real. And I, I feel very fortunate to work with these amazing young actors at the start of uh, two careers, I think, would be very long lasting in Hollywood. Ray, how has it been being back at Clemson after all these years? Um, Clemson is home. Uh, being back at Clemson is is wonderful because Clemson is home. Um, is always a place that I consider uh, myself comfortable and considered welcome, and my family as well. So um, it's it's been a wonderful experience, and I'll continue my life in Clemson around Clemson. Uh, because once you once you go to Clemson and you'll learn as alumni that you're always going to be a part of a family no matter where you're at and no matter what country you're in no matter how you feel about it you're always family uh, you can't get away from us <laughs> you once you put on the orange and purple that that's it you bleed orange and purple and that's that's life and so I'm I'm always excited to be back at Clemson to talk about Clemson and anything dealing with Clemson so yes that's, that'll be my response for that one. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Mark, why was Reginald Hudlin the perfect director for this film? Well, I mean, I, I think if you look at his body of work, uh, you know, it's, it, it varies so much from comedy to dramatic, you know, uh, uh, films and documentaries. It just, uh, you, that, that's what I wanted to bring to this film because there's, there's humor, there's, there's emotion. Uh, there's drama, there's there's just big moments. So, you know, you need somebody that are capable of kind of delivering all that. I've just been a fan of his work and uh, we're really lucky to get him. You know, it's uh, it's always hard. You know, uh, you're you're in competition when when directors are, are you know, in demand. So you, you, the material has to speak and it's a lot to do with timing. So uh, I think everyone was excited uh, when when he came in and put his hand up. Reginald, what do you hope audiences will take away from this film? Well, <clears throat> what's been really gratifying as I talk to people as they see the movie is that they're inspired, they cry, they laugh, they have the full range of emotion. And I, I think movies that, you know, get beyond just being entertainment, uh, if the movie can really inspire then that's that's not, that's two hours that makes you feel like you got something out of it. You go, I wasn't just diverted. Uh, that 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 enriched me, and that's certainly how we felt making the movie. And we hope that comes across our audiences when they see it. Ray, this last one's for you. <laughs> Your life is very different than it was when you were at Clemson. What things did you learn from that experience that has helped to make you who you are today? From my Clemson experience, I have learned so much that I, I would say that I already knew, but never practiced as much. Um, I had already been part of a team. I had, I had been raised by a village up until that point. I had experienced family. But to, to bring it, because as you go into school as a, a young college student, you're, you're really trying to find yourself. And so it was, it was that combined with everything else that kind of gave me um, methods and thought processes that I would continue to use in life from this point on because I was becoming a man at that time when I entered Clemson. And now that I became a man, just anything that led up to that was necessary as I would feel. Um, so I don't, I don't regret much because I understand everything is necessary for me to move on to the next step. And so 
what I would pick up from Clemson, one of the most things is never to regret anything. Because that's the same time that I went from, hey, maybe I'm not going to play professional football. And that was one of those things for athletes. That's one of the most trying times in our lives because that's our identity for most of us. That's who we told ourselves we were. This is what we told ourselves we were going to do. And so learning to transition as and, and learning to take life as it comes is one of the things that I picked up at my from my times at Clemson University. Um, and knowing that, that I will always have people there for me um, as well. So that's great bit but there's so much more to Clemson and there's so much more I, I hope to continue to pick up in Clemson that's why I'll always return. <laughs>